Welcome back to Ithriel Enigma. I was about to say Ithriel staff. I've been playing too much to my Hi, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And if not, I hope this makes your day a little better. <sighs> so, we left off. Erlen couldn't make a sandwich. We helped her out. I I don't think Erlen is the girl for me. <laughs> you know, they said the way to a man's heart is through his stomach and if you can't cook I don't know so let's go ahead and jump into it before we get started thank you guys for the love and support I truly appreciate it you guys do not know how much I appreciate it and also thank you guys for I don't know giving me ideas and tips and tricks and stuff I've been struggling with my recordings and not to mention, you know, it was the holidays and stuff. So I said, like, I was just sitting here like, you know, let's start over fresh. Let's start over new in Ithriel. The sun shines through the window, burning away the fog of sleep. Blinking open my eyes, I glance outside. For once, I have no obligations. Sorry, my finger wasn't on the button. The thought energizes me and I get ready for the day. Both Mina and Erlen's doors are closed. That's fine with me. I could use a quiet morning. That's messed up. Because Mina's only trying to help you. Don't be all mean to her. After freshening up, I head downstairs to grab a bite to eat. There's a loaf of custard bread on the... Oh, that sounds so good. Like, What is custard bread? I've never heard of that before. On the table with the piece already torn off. That must mean Mina is awake. She loves the stuff. I catch the savory smell of meat and see the steamer. Uncle Hajime has been pre have prepared. Sorry, has been have prepared meat buns for us too. What is meat buns? After eating, I clean up and relax in the living room when the ring of a doorbell surprises me. Not. I'm not expecting anybody. I wonder who it is. So, it can only be two people. It's going to be either, what's his name? Oh, God, what is his name? Uh, uh, Kiyosuke. God, I got it. Kiyosuke, or it's going to be, uh, it's going to be like, uh, what's her name? Oh, what is her name? What is her name? Raven Hair Girl. Oh, my God. I can't think of her name, but you know what I'm talking about. When I open the door, I'm greeted with by Kiyosuke's smiling face. My man. Aren't you glad it's the weekend? Hey, come on in. He barely waits for me to step aside before he lets himself in, kicking his shoes off in the process. You, like doing anything in particular today? you know, I actually like... There was... Uh-oh. No! I want to get, a, well, let me answer this first. To put a party like it's 1999, that's the best. Uh, everyone has their own style. Uh, everyone has their own style. How do you, oh, it's the mouse. I forgot, it's the mouse button on here. I don't, I don't like it, but I don't hate it. It actually looks good on him. Like, the more I'm looking at it, the more it's starting to... It's looking better and better every time. So, uh, I'm not mad at it. Kiyosuke hasn't been our uh, thumbnail yet, so why not? It might not be what I, was, what I would choose to wear, but people deserve the right to express themselves through their clothes. Who am I to judge? I see you're stick, they're sticking with your usual look. I was gonna say tricking. I have no idea where my mind was. He grins. You know it. Richard is making a comeback. I'm actually a trendsetter if you think about it. 
I mean, he's he's right in a way. Vintage is definitely coming back. Uh, bell bottoms and all. If you say so. But to answer your question, I don't have anywhere in mind. What about you? Kiyosuke shakes his head. Not particularly. We can stay in instead. I'm all about relaxation. That works for me. We could play something on the console. Yeah, man. It's <clears throat> been a while since I got to demolish you with Crash Bros. Crash Bros. <sighs> Funny story. So me and my Huggy Wuggy Bear was playing uh playing Smash Bros. Tell me why this man Falcon punched me four times. I'm telling you, I'm I haven't forgiven him yet. And that was months ago. I still haven't forgiven him. We head up to my room and search through the games. Kyosuke excitedly checks the newest release uh, excitedly checks out the newest release my parents brought back from their latest business trip in the US. I usually get a game before he does and we'll try it together. After booting everything up, um, we <coughs> yeah, God, I'm sorry I'm losing my voice. We select teams and start to play. Also, I just woke up. Yeah, are you? Soccer? You know, that sounds like it's up your alley. He gives me a knowing look. Oh, I get to choose what club I'm joining? Oh, that's cool. Uh, science, debate. Mm. Sorry, guys, I got water right here. I just woke up and my voice is just not coming in today. Acting club. Swimming. Also soccer. Anime club. Uh, hmm. Oh, it was so exciting because I got to choose clubs too. I chose like singing and stuff, but I I guess we'll do. Well, Mina's in swimming. I don't want to bother Mina. <gasps> Excuse me. I think I'm gonna do science. No, oh, that's so so nerdy. Ah, uh, science. I'm thinking of joining the science club. Kiyosuke sucks in a large breath. I know. I know. Listen, if getting to make mini explosions is nerdy, then I'm proud to be a nerd. Jesus. We continue to chat as we play. As a gen oh, cause these as is generally the trend with Kiyosuke, the more the game gets, the quieter he becomes more into, sorry. Soon we both get into the competitive spirit as we play against each other. Suddenly a knock on the door interrupts us. Who is it? Kiyosuke mutters under his breath. You know you like Mina. Ooh, Erilyn. In response, the door bursts open. Erilyn stands in the frame. You can't just barge in here. You're supposed to answer my question and wait for me to invite you in. This is why Erlen is not waifu. You can't cook. You're rude. You're pretty. Maybe she has a brain. Maybe. Kiyosuke starts stares in wide eye wonder. Sorry. He scrambles to his feet. That's Erlen. Yes. She's here. Yes. Still yes. Dress like a hot fantasy princess. Uh she likes to cosplay. Why do you sound like this is a totally normal situation? Wait, am I still asleep? That must be it. Kiyosuke pinches himself and wince. As reality dawns, he turns to me for an explanation. 
Oh, right. I guess we haven't mentioned Erilyn's living situation to him. So, funny story. She actually lives here. She what? Kiyosuke eyes bug out in the woods. <laughs> Why is that so bad? Like, he's making it seem like it's the worst thing. Or maybe it's a good thing. Hmm. I like where your head is, Kiyosuke. I like how you think it. Kiyosuke's eyes like bug out. And his words are a choke squeak. Erlyn <laughs> waves her hand in front of her face as if waving away an annoying fly. I glance over to Kiyosuke and back to Erlyn. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, I'm a little preoccupied. She crosses her arms. I think you mean with whom? Oh god, don't stare. Don't stare, Kiyosuke. At a point to Kiyosuke, who remains frozen in shock and confusion. She glances at Kiyosuke, then back to me. Okay. But she won't do it for me. That sounds about right. So I'm going to need you to complete it for me instead. Seemingly out of nowhere, she pulls out a stack of workbooks and drops it next to me. With a smug smile, she turns away. I'll come collect it in the evening. No, you will not. I'm not doing it. What? What is even going on? Wait a minute. She pauses, fixing, fixing me with a bored look. Offer to help her with homework. Pass Erin back to Mina. Give her back her books. I don't want to just throw her books at her. That's me. But I mean, I mean, I offer to help her. Insisting to do her homework isn't the right tactic. But clearly, she needs help, and I shouldn't ignore that. I won't do your homework for you, but if you need help, then I can help you. Erlyn sighs and settles at my desk. Resigns, oh my God. Resigns to her face. Sorry. Well, I mean, as a princess, did they not teach you how to do homework? Uh, I meant later. I'm still hanging out with Kiyosuke right now. Erlyn frowns her brow. At the mention of his name, Kiyosuke awakens from his stupor. He jumps up. Me, Erlyn. I'm a Kose. <laughs> I'm Kose. Oh, Kiyosuke, no. Erlyn looks at him as if seeing him for the first time. She puts on a gentle smile. Her regal hair. <laughs> Returning. Oh no. I see. Do we know each other? I didn't mean to hit that. We go to school together. Her face is still blank. I'm in your class. Oh. Ah, <sighs> poor little Kiyosuke. After her little explanation. After her little explanation. Sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. Again, I just woke up. Nose is stuffy. The voice is not coming in right now. She gets up and walks away. It's just a whole lot going on. We both watch in silence as she exit. Erlyn's <laughs> once Erlyn's out of view, Kiyosuke flops oh, flops up to his back on the floor. She didn't even get to the point of rejecting me. Aw. Well at least your expectations are in line. He clutches his chest. That comet would have hurt if I wasn't already dead. Oh. Wait, I think this is still a dream. No. This entire scenario doesn't seem remotely possible. It's not a dream, honey. It's not a dream. He pulls his hand back and slaps himself across the face. Seriously, dude? With no change in results, he flops down again. Oh. Try to comfort him. Maybe she remember you if you did her homework. Get up. I don't want to be the person that like enables this behavior. Come on, it's not a big deal. Get up, man. J 
to use your hands to push yourself up is easy. Kelsey just flops <laughs> back. Listen, Lee. Oh my God, I sigh deeply. What have I done to deserve such cruelty? How can I be so unmemorable? I'm pretty confident you're not the problem in this case. But my words fall on deaf ears as Kiyosuke lets out another long groan. Footsteps echo in the hallway, which is immediately followed by the breathless Mina. She pops her head into the doorway. Are you okay, Chris? I heard a thud, and then a loud- She pauses when she sees Kiyosuke on the floor, straightening up and concern melts off her face. No, don't do Kiyosuke like that. Poor Kiyosuke. Oh, don't do him like this. Just as quick, she turns away. Well, this has record timing. Air hairy of situations will pull Kiyosuke out of the out of his mood. Um, hey Kiyosuke, he continues to stare at the ceiling. Yeah. You seem to be pretty proficient at repelling women today. <laughs> Did he just... Kiyosuke finally sits up. His face gave... <laughs> his face is grave as he <laughs> returns to his feet. <coughs> Why? What's wrong? Kiyosuke shakes his head. Or, or we could just keep gaming. He shakes his head again. No, not even video games can fix this. I'll see you later. Oh, you'll get better with the ladies, Kiyosuke. Kiyosuke scuffles out of my room. I follow him in the front door and send him off, trying my best to encourage him. He'll be fine, I'm sure of it. Oh, well, pretty sure of it. Anyways, with Kiyosuke having a tenant <laughs> life crisis, <clears throat> sorry, I was supposed to cough. Mina at work. I have some free time. Who should I go hang out with? Erlen or... <sighs> Sorry, Erlen. I don't want to hang out with you. <laughs> I wonder what Kira's doing. She seems interested and it might be fun to do something outside of school or invest investigating Erlen's situation. Maybe I should see what she's up to. I pull my phone out of a, 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 I pull out my phone and dial her number. She picks up after a few rings. Hello? <sighs> Kira. Hi Kira. How's it going? Hello. A woman a few words. That's my type of gal, I'm telling you. She doesn't add anything else. After a small pause, she finally speaks. Did you discover something new about Erilyn's predicament? Uh no, I was just wondering if you wanted to hang out. No response. Hello? She's playing hard to get. Wait for her to respond. I'll wait for her to respond. She sounds surprised. So, are you free? She pauses. Huh? She doesn't strike me as someone who's into that. What if I pushed her? Y'all, I don't do this much, but can I go back? I don't think I can go back. I mean, I could reload it, but I don't want to do all that. Okay, that's fine. I see. No worries, then. That sounds like it'll be fun. It takes another few seconds for her to reply. The question catches me off guard, but I quickly recover. I've never been to one, but I'd like to check one out sometime. Another pause. Would you like to go today? <gasps> As Kira's asking me out on a date, she's actually more reserved and aloof. Maybe I'm thinking too much into this. It's a date. Sure, why not? She means as friends. 
No, it's a day. Keep be assertive. It must be a dimming lit club with <laughs> just the two of us. How could this not be? Wait. Is it just us? Is anyone else going? No. Oh yeah, it's definitely a date. <laughs> I'd love to go. Cool. I have an extra ticket you can take. You just so happen to have an extra ticket, Carol. Look, I knew she she was waiting for me to call her, I'm telling you. Oh, did someone cancel on you? No. So let me get this straight. She's not only taking us on a date, but she's paying for it. Like, and she's being nice about it. Like, she's not giving, like, oh, next time I see you, you got to give me the money back. No, she's not even being like that. Like, that's crazy. You know what? I, I dig your vibe, girl. I dig your vibe. So she has two tickets, just, but was planning on going alone. Strange. Let's meet there in half an hour. Okay, cool. See you then. After we hang up. Kira texts me the address to the local venue, and I hurry to get ready. My first date with Kira. I wish they had to put in a like a thing where you can get dressed and stuff, and have them react to it a little bit, and then it like dictates whether or not they like you or not, the, how how you dress. But I mean, I I, I understand with designing a game that have been a little too much. My first date with Kira. I need to dress to impress. I fix my hair and put on nice shirt and pants. Once I'm satisfied, I scarf down a quick meal, then make, no, you shouldn't have done that. You should have, was like, oh yeah, I'm hungry. Let's go get a little snack. And then make your way outside. Oh, you idiot, Jen. The walk isn't too bad, even though the hour, even though, sorry, the hour is late. The sky is still like, so I have no trouble finding the place. A soft breeze ruffles across my skin the whole way, making the trip easy and relaxing. I find Kira standing outside. Oh, I can't wait to see what she's wearing. Like, even if she's just wearing that little outfit she had on earlier, it's still too cute. But if she had something different on, oh, that'd be amazing. Stand outside the auditorium. Most of the seats are starting to become filled. Hey. Oh, look how good she is. <laughs> Oh, look, I know. Look, I'm sorry, Kioske. I don't want to do you dirty. But I know I said I was going to make you the... <laughs> I know I said I was going to make you the thumbnail. But this is more important. Our day with Kira. She glances at my clothes. What do you think? She likes my clothes. Oh, she likes my clothes. Okay. All right. Hmm, does she mean fine as they look nice or fine as they're whatever or fine as that I'm fine? It's hard to tell what she's thinking. Kira hands me a ticket. Thanks, how much do I owe you? Don't worry about it. She's, oh my God. <laughs> she don't know it yet, but she wifey. She don't know it yet, but she is waifu. She doesn't know it yet. I'm sorry, guys. I need some water. <laughs> I blink. Really? Yeah, they were a gift from her parents. No wonder she has two tickets. Her parents must have given her one so she could invite a friend. And oh, she was gonna go alone. Aww. I smile. Ah, thanks. Together we head inside. A man at the door checks our tickets and guides us to our seats. It's pretty crowded. A couple's low lit with tables and chairs scattered around. There's a stage with a microphone set up in front of the, front of a row of curtains. So, do you go to these shows a lot? I think I'm gonna leave right there. I'm so sorry you guys to do that to y'all, but I think I'm going to leave right there. Thank you so much for vibing with me and chilling with me. I will see all of you in the next video. Bye.